DEA Democrat outed for sick behavior, party demands he stop one common activity. A Democrat in California's state Senate has come under fire for years of inappropriate behavior. Terrified of what might happen, his party has forbidden him from doing one, everyday activity. It seems like every day we hear about another Democrat caught in a scandal. Ever since Harvey Weinstein, producer and liberal donor, was outed for sex crimes, many more powerful liberals have been exposed. Democrats in Hollywood, the media, and even government have been up to no good. Many of them harassed unsuspecting staffers. Some even solicited them for sex. With each passing month, more revelations come out. Nashville's mayor was having an affair with her bodyguard. A California legislator, a woman who was involved in the Hash Me Too movement, was exposed for harassing several male staffers. It just doesn't seem to stop. This is making Democrats extremely nervous. The midterm elections are coming up, and they are in desperate need of a few wins after so many losses. But, what are people now associating with their party? Hatred for the president and sexual harassment? That's not good news for them. California Democrats are now in damage control. They are hoping to avoid another scandal by reprimanding one of their own. What has this state senator been up to that was so bad? He's accused of inappropriate hugging. What's more, he is now banned from hugging people. Yep, that's what we've come to. A Democrat in the California State Senate has been banned from embracing colleagues and other co-workers after a probe found him engaging in unwanted hugging and touching. State Senator Bob Hertzberg, D. Van Nuys, was the subject of a state Senate report released Thursday that details rampant sexual harassment in the Capitol in Sacramento. The investigation, which included more than 30 interviews with 28 witnesses, examined four complaints dating to 2010, involving three female lawmakers and a male sergeant-at-arms. The lawmaker's behavior over the years earned him nicknames such as Hugsburg and Huggy Bear as he often greeted men and women alike with hugs. The Senate Rules Committee formally reprimanded the lawmaker Tuesday, ordering him to not initiate hugs because such behavior was, at times, unwelcome. He will not face any disciplinary measure. Source, Fox News We knew it would come to this. So much fear over sexual harassment complaints and scandals has made politicians extra nervous. That's not a huge surprise. But, considering that Democrats' reputations are in the toilet, this seemingly silly request is being taken very seriously. Now, most of us wouldn't find a hug to be very threatening. But, then again, these are lawmakers in a professional setting. This isn't Christmas morning at Grandma's house. I don't think I want to have to hug a colleague, even if he were in my party. From reports, this seems to be more than just an overreaction on the part of Democrats. Hertzberg had quite a reputation for hugging people. A lot. Some even had to ask him to stop touching them. The report names none of the accusers, but former Republican Assemblywoman Linda Halderman has publicly accused Hertzberg of repeatedly hugging her for prolonged periods of time between 2010 and 2012. She asked him to stop at one point. Source, Fox News. That's pretty creepy if you ask me. At this point, the man has been accused simply of inappropriate hugging and touching. In this era, that's enough to implicate a man. Considering the shocking number of Democrats harassing staff, luring them to hotel rooms, and propositioning them in private, even a prolonged hug is viewed with suspicion. And, rightfully so. It seems like Democrats don't understand the concept of consent. This is proof the left is in panic mode. Hertzberg hasn't received any disciplinary measures. He isn't being removed from office or brought up on charges. That suggests he hasn't harassed any staffers in a sexual way. Yet, the Democrats aren't taking any chances. If a video of one of Hertzberg's extra long hugs were to be leaked on the internet, the damage could be incalculable. Memes of Huggy Bear would rock the internet. Social networks would be on fire with jokes at the lawmaker's expense. It could hurt his bid, and the bid of other liberals, for re election. This is what liberal politics have come to. They no longer focus on the issues, in hopes of winning back voters. All they care about is protecting their fragile images. 
real work and results? Yeah, they leave that to the conservatives, conservatives, 